Hello there, Rhino125, and today I'm doing a review, a special review, um, on the Marvel Legends Wolverine. Um, th it comes with a 32-page, uh, comic book and, um, a wall mount display stand. Um, so, I have already opened this. I just put it back in the package because I have the package. And if you probably noticed, um, I do not have the comic book. Um, and it, and I'm at my grandma's, so I did not, I do not have the comic book right now. This was a whopping $45 at a comic book store. Pretty expensive, so I just kind of, $45 at the comic book store. I just wonder how much it is on Amazon. And they probably don't have it on Big Bad Toy Store because they don't sell old figures on there, I don't think. Alright, so on the side, there's no thing, just as usual, you would probably expect that because it's an older figure. And on the back, here, it shows, sorry about the gleam, um, I'll take this out, I'll show you. So, uh, on the back, you get Juggernaut, Punisher, Cable, uh, the Wolverine here, I don't know why it'd be there when you're getting the Wolverine, and then Deadpool. I guess it was just all the ones to say. Uh, right here, here's Wolverine's power. And, um, this here, I, I'm doing something different, uh, here's what this says. The Wolverine. Little is known of his past. Long ago, he trained as a samurai in Japan. Later, he became Weapon X, an operative for the Canadian government. Today, Logan is an X-Men. Using his animal keen senses, healing factor, and razor-sharp claws to help protect a world that fears and hates mutants. Wolverine's senses enable him to track people and objects with an impressive degree of success. His accelerated healing factor allows him to survive wounds that would prove fatal to most humans and mutants. Wolverine's skeleton has been bonded with the indestructible metal adamantium. Also, he poses adamantium-laced, retractable claws housed in his forearms. At will, he can release them through the skin on the back of each hand. The Wolverine. Alright, so there uh, was that, what that said, and, um, well, what this said right here. And on um, this is three free comic books, which is weird, the day I went there... This, uh, figure, that, um, I can't remember what year this is from. I can't remember, but, uh, anyway, this was, uh, free comic book day, and when I got this figure, so it was kind of strange that it had this. Um, alright, so let's just get to the figure. Uh, soon enough you'll be seeing another review, kind of the same figure, but taller, because it'll be Diamond Select. And, yeah, as you can see, you get all this. And what I did is I just cut right there and slide it right out. So I just kind of put it all back in. So, first things, um, I'm just, sorry about shaking. Just take that out. And you can tell he's definitely been opened because the comic book wasn't in there. I mean, because I already told you. And he would have had these things on his claws you know, to keep them perfect in the package. What I would normally do is I just kind of pop the feet out. And then pull. And I just go up like that. And I was afraid when I got this that he would have some kind of articulation thing. Because I know Marvel Legends uh, seems like they have a lot of that. Uh, and the only thing that really had problem was is his claws. Which I could fix that, but I don't know if I'm going to. Because it doesn't bother me that much. And then uh, the uh, bending right here. So there's the figure. Uh, now I'll get this out. This thing's actually kind of hard to get out once you put in. It's a lot of movement. There. So there's this. Uh, it's a nice display. I, I already have hung it up. Um, the articulation on this head goes like that. Uh, arms go. Oh yeah, the sword comes out. Arms go up and down. I've had this for about two weeks now. So. It's been a while, I'm just now doing the review. But the arms go like that. I mean the waist, sorry. And it's got some nice detail on it, on the, especially on the wood. This will be a nice background, you know, just 
those pieces that if you've ever watched random world stop motions that I've made in the background there's always just random stuff kind of like this in the background here's the sword it does not it sadly doesn't fit in over its hand it more looks like a Deadpool sword so I guess if you got that Deadpool he already comes with two swords that look almost just like this um, but if you want to have a third sword if this fits in his hand it'd be good so uh, this looks pretty good I guess just focus it alright so now to the Wolverine alright so uh, here's the um, articulation on the Wolverine alright so we got a swivel at the wrist hand moves like that uh, you can't make him point like the uh, the Marvel icons 12 inch double jointed right there um, spins right here he has a lot of articulation goes like has that pivot kind of thing right there Head goes up and down quite a ways, and other hand same way, except I can't bend this. I'm not going to try because I could break it. That fully rotates both this, the ab crunch. Sorry, I was going like that, but. And then he's got a nice logo right there, but I'll get into detail in a little bit. Uh, legs go forward and back and in and out as a swivel up here. Double jointed at the knee, swivels right here. Just kind of a strange place to have a swivel, but, you know, it's Marvel Legends. They have a lot of articulation. And that's pretty much uh, the articulation on this action figure. Um, there's a lot of pictures of him on my Instagram. Uh, actually, some of the pictures someone was wanting uh, this Wolverine wanted him to trade. Because there's a Deadpool Ash where I've been wanting at the Diamond Select. It's $21, which isn't that much uh, for a Diamond Select. Because that's the normal average price of a Diamond Select. Uh, they said they would give me the Deadpool for this Wolverine comes with all his accessories and all they wanted was the Wolverine and this. Uh, I thought about it, I packaged it up, I put their address and I changed my mind. Um, I don't think I'm ready to sell this Wolverine. Uh, yes, I will be getting a Diamond Select Wolverine that looks just like this pretty much with mask. Um, but I don't still don't think I'm ready to trade it off. Uh, also, one thing I also do not like about this Wolverine, okay, so there's a little teeny bit of complaint about the claws, but that doesn't bother me. A little complaint about the bending, but the most thing that bothers me is his height. Yes, I know he's only five something in the, um, comics, like five foot something. I think five foot, uh, three? Five foot four? Something like that. Um, if Wolverine didn't have his powers, I would be able to beat the crap out of him because I am about that height almost so that is really short um, but yes he is invincible so why be tall when you're invincible at this point but still uh, that's what I can't stand because looking at these pictures all of these look all the same size when you look at Wolverine he has his legs bent and he does too but if he stood up he's super tall compared to Wolverine that's the problem with this that's the only reason why I would give it a nine and a half because of the size because the claws don't bother me that much and um, the hand does not bother me at all alright so now for detail uh, so detail you got some nice abs there some little things in the suits uh, in the suit sorry and uh, it's got some nice hair some veins that look like silverish it's kind of strange but whatever and uh, over here, you just have some little bit of folds in the boots, and um, you got the nice folds over here as well as the nice muscles in the face. I do I like the snarl kind of that he has. That's nice trademark Wolverine. This is my favorite suit. Uh, if you guys don't know, I haven't done any reviews on Wolverines. This is my first six-inch Wolverine. I've only always had 3.75 inch. I've just never got my hands on one. Um, so, anyway, yeah, this is just a great figure. Uh, I like it a lot. Also, I forgot to, I did it. Um, it bends right there, too. But, yeah, so this is my first review ever on a Wolverine. And, uh, just a great figure. Um,. One of the reasons why I would not sell it, what the guy was wanting, wanted to trade, he said, since of the Wolverine, like, he would give me, 
I would have to give him this and another figure because his Deadpool comes with everything. And then I told him the price, and he's like, oh, well, then we can just, you know, trade Deadpool for Wolverine. Which is kind of a weird trade because, you know, let's say if I had a Diamond Select Deadpool or he had a Diamond Select Wolverine we traded. I mean, that wouldn't make sense. But, uh, so I like this action figure. I'm not ready to give it up. Um, if you do not know, I do have a lot of trades going on on my Instagram. Uh, like the body parts, um, if you watched my Hawkeye review, you may have noticed that I forgot to add the top half, like the, um, top half of Odin that Hawkeye came with. Completely forgot about that, to add that in there, but it doesn't matter because, uh, but not for trade anyway. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, so, it's a pretty nice figure, uh, I would recommend getting it, it's just one thing about Marvel Legends, of this kind anyway, is you never know, what's, there might be some kind of problem with them, pretty much that's with every action figure, you just have to kind of make a sacrifice, and uh, so that's why it's good to get them at a comic book, because this was the only one there, uh, they had another Wolverine, the same, the one that uh, has the uh, yellow suit, and it's a little taller, well the Astonishing Wolverine, um, like that one. It doesn't have it on the back of this because it's from a different series. But, um, yeah, I was going to get that one, but I could see the flaws. I couldn't see the thing about the fingers, but I can see the flaws on the claws. <sighs> yes, that rhymes. Flaws on the claws. Um, but, you know, I got it because it's pretty nice. And, yes, I, at that time, already did order that Diamond Select. So, hope you enjoyed this review. I did a lot of talking and stuff, but I just wanted to, you know, kind of to show you this wonderful action figure and like I said this is my first Wolverine review ever so and I love Wolverine uh, he's my second favorite superhero and then Captain America Wolverine and then Hulk and then it goes from there and uh, I didn't know I like Marvel way more than DC I do like DC but uh, not very much there isn't enough superheroes in the DC universe you know, you get some of them, but half of them I don't even know their names. Like, when people think of DC, they think of Batman and Superman. Normally, I do, anyway. And, you know, Superman and Batman are my two favorites, so... And the DC. Alright, well, anyway, uh, here's just a bunch of pictures, and enjoy. Thanks for watching.